guess the first question, you know, is a lot of heated opinion and everything to hear today. What's the the number one message that you'd like to send back um, from tonight? Well, six, look, it's all about jobs and the economy. And what we have here in, in John Bocheri is we have somebody who votes lockstep with Nancy Pelosi. He votes for cap and trade. That's a job-killing bill. He votes for uh, um, health care. I mean, when his constituents didn't want it. He votes with whatever. I mean, he stood here and talked about a lot of things, but what he really needed to stand here and talk about was why is his voting record always with Nancy Pelosi. Now, I, get, um, what, I guess one question that voters might have is if you've criticized Mr. Bocieri for voting with Ms., uh, Nancy Pelosi, I believe, 94% of the time. Can you name an issue or two where you would break with uh, John Boehner if he were to become a speaker? Well, I think those issues will come forward in the future, but what I would always say in the past... I would vote no against a lot of these bills because they deserved a no vote. Mm -hmm. um, so it isn't voting with John Boehner. It's voting no for the constituents of the 16th District. Are, are, but uh, I, I believe the gentleman right here had mentioned, you know, that a sort of middle-of-the-road approach where that's best for legislating from this country. Are there any examples that you can give us of, of areas that you might break with your party um, in order in? Yeah, area, areas where you would show independence from your party. Well, if our party, if the Republican Party does things that do not allow jobs to be created, if they do things that that um, do not represent the 16th district, I would break vote with those because at the time it, we need to worry about jobs in the economy. And uh, but at this point in time, I think the Democratic Party is doing that, and that's why there are so many no votes.